Oh. And your first pro stint was in Thailand. And mm-hmm. we usually go there to prepare for the UAAT, di ba? Titraining lang tayo doon. But then, first time mo to actually play there competitively and as an import. So, what? how was the experience like for you? I felt like I was, ano, a rookie talaga. Like, literally. <laughs> it was a new environment, new coach, new team, and their culture so much. I mean, like, I was lucky. We're lucky enough na same yung system ng, ng coach po, coach, coach tayo, tsaka ni coach, ni coach M. But, <laughs> I'm still culture shock kasi syempre, hindi siya yung out of my comfort zone talaga. And I'm away from home. <laughs> Siguro one thing na nag-struggle din ako. Pero, uh, that's the first time also na hindi ako na for first six ulit. Parang oh. sobrang, I was really driven to train nung nasa Thailand ako. Twice a day training, twice a day, I don't even care. Basta nakaka-train ako. It, it doesn't matter kung papaglaruin ako. But I think one thing na gusto ko talaga when I went to Thailand was to get that experience na mag-training talaga. Kasi after that season 78 na game that season, I felt like I really need, parang I needed something na makakapag-improve pa ako sa, sa volleyball. And I chose that path to train in Thailand. I'm not really aiming na really makalaro ako. It's more of really exposed sa training dun. So, and it was really for me a good decision then to get away from here sa Manila kasi yun nga, gusto ko ibang environment. Yung tipong yung tingin talaga sa akin. Hindi <laughs> ako si Eliza Valdez or someone na marunong mag-volleyball. So, yun man talaga pinamdi sa akin, Coach M. As in, sabi, may one time, di ko makakalimutan to, nadulas talaga ako kasi nag one man. Eh, sobrang lahat na nag-roll, as in, basa na yung floor. Nadulas ako, pero wala talaga silang pakailam. They will throw the ball far away from you. You have to run after you. I mean, like, something na okay din talaga na may experience So, yun, really learn a lot from from that from that Thailand stint. And, and not just about volleyball. I think you really tried to get to know everybody, as in all your teammates. Kasi naalala mo, Eliza, nung naglaro kayo sa AVC, somewhere south sa Laguna, um, I was asking you, the Thailand team was here. Tapos tinatanong kita, Eliza, sino ba magaling dyan? Sino ba magaling dyan sa Thailand team? Tapos sinabi mo, you should look at ano, Pimpichaya Kop, yeah. Kopram. Si, si Beam. You, yeah. you call her Beam, right? So like, and then si Kutika Kaupin, na teammate mo rin sa 3BB na Cornot, naging teammate mo ulit sa Cream 9 Cool Smashers. Like, aside from the training, aside from the discipline that you saw from them, ano pa yung mga bagay na binaon mo from that experience that you used when you went back to the Philippines? Oh. Well, one thing kasi na siguro okay din talaga, I'm, my coach is coach tayo until now. So lahat ng mga training na parang drills na pinagawa sa akin doon, pag pinapagawa ni coach tayo, sobrang hindi na ako nagugulat kasi I've done it before. But aside from training and discipline, I think I brought that Thailand culture in terms of volleyball ah, kasi it's so much different. Their, their culture talaga as a community sobrang eba as in they're very dedicated uh, in such a way na pag national team as in may, may, may time, may parang dapat ito allotted lang sa club team, ito allotted time sa national team. So parang I wanted to put that and bring it here. So pag pinapatag tayo ng national team or may club team as much as possible, uh, parang, parang sinusundan ko yung system nila para alam ko rin kung, kung paano aalagaan yung self ko, yung i-maintain yung, yung katawan ko sa parang well condition pa rin ako kahit maglaro ako national team or mag-club team ako. So yun yung one thing na na gusto din dinala ko rin dito kasi sila beam sila kutika they, they're training din sa national team back then eh. so nakita ko yung pagod nila pero they really parang i don't know nga kung paano din nila ginawa yon pero sobrang healthy nila as an athlete so yun yung one thing din na, na parang feeling ko din na adapt ko hopefully pala 
You know what's so admirable about Eliza? Lai, I love you. Uh, <laughs> yung, yung fact na you're Eliza Valdez here in the Philippines. Like, everybody knows you. Everybody admires you for, like, you know, being a winner. Being a winner. You're an MVP. You're a champion. But you decided to step out of your comfort mm-hmm. zone and, you know, start from scratch in, in a foreign land, in a foreign place. And, you know, just be a sponge like, we, like what you said and just learn new things. And that's, that's something that, you know, I really admire about you na kahit na gano karami ng MVP sa palanunan mo, you're always open to new things. And I hope that yung mga uh, nanonood sa atin ngayon, especially the kids, I hope you're, you have that same mentality and same mindset na kahit ano pang ma-achieve nyo, you're always open to new things and there's always something new to learn. Definitely. On point, oh. on point. <laughs> well, Lai, after your Thailand stint naman, yung next assignment mo as an import was in Taiwan. And, ano naman yung difference <laughs> nung style of play in Taiwan sa style of play natin dito sa Philippines? Ito, one thing, I really had a hard time adjusting sa Taiwan kasi... I've never been to Taiwan. I've never been to Taiwan ata. And it's so hard to understand them because we were we're so used to going back and forth to Thailand. So medyo familiar tayo sa culture, sa pagsasalita nila. But when it was it was in Taiwan, I had a hard time because I was really trying to learn Chinese. I was. Wow. But it was super hard for me na parang may konti lang ako masabi na iba yung pronunciation ko, iba na yung meaning. So, dun ako medyo nahirapan to communicate. But marunong din naman mag-English yung coach ko. And then, I think we have the same language naman, volleyball nga. Pero nga, may different style din sila ng playing. Iba yung setting nila, iba yung, alam mo yon iba yung dynamics nila pagdating sa volleyball. So, I guess the one thing naman na natutunan ko sa Taiwan ano, sobrang different talaga yung iba, iba yung way na pag-take care nila sa katawan nila. Pag may mga injuries sila, they, they, they do acupuncture and other therapies. So, I was really, it, it was really different for me as compared from Thailand and, and Philippines. And then, mga drills nila, different than yung mga one man sila. Iba, sobrang Iba yung mga drills. Meron pa kaming drill na one time, sinisipa namin yung bola. Hindi ako makagulog. <laughs> Kaya yun yung naaalala ko. Kasi meron kaming time, may isa, tatakbo kami pa, sobrang layo. Tapos sisipain namin pa balik yung bola sa court. Hindi ko magawa kasi yung bola nga, hindi ko matamaan sa kamay ko. Paapa kaya. So, <laughs> so may nangyayon na ako sa mga ibang drills na ibang drills. Pero, nag-enjoy din talaga ako. Kasi we would travel naman super far to have games then. So I get to visit all the cities in, in Taiwan and really see all the players. Kasi we always, we normally played against them naman pag mga U23. Hmm. And that's why pala iba yung dynamics nila kasi ganun sila mag-training. Then. So yeah. Lai, uh, magkasama kayo ni T4, right? Sa attack yeah. line. Alisa, I just want to clarify. Is it T4 or 4T? What, what T- do you call her? T4. T4. T4, right? Okay. T4, di ba? Kasi, okay. Wala eh. Yung, yung, mga, fan, yung mga fans, sabi, 4T eh. Because, oh, well, oh. apat naman talaga na T's. Yeah. yeah. 40s. But may catch kasi like, it's more catchy when you say T4. Yeah, and I've heard it from you players. Like, I heard it first from Abi Maranyo. Sabi niya, andun si T4. So, when I was commentating, I was saying T4 and then the fans were correcting me saying it's 4T. So, I mean... I, I guess I guess this clears everything up. Oh, ay na galing na sa mga players, ay galing na sa teammate ni T4, T4 talaga. Thank you for watching Volleyball DNA. Make sure you hit the subscribe button to get notified for future episodes and interview highlights. And while you're at it, head over to our Facebook page by clicking on the link in the description.